Our good friends at Chicken Master Grill sent over this all stainless steel aluminum alloy grill, chicken rotisserie with the grill on the backside. We're gonna throw some charcoal on this thing and fire it up because it looks awesome. I'm not trying to break anything. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> so you've all heard Jamaican jerk chicken. And we're gonna do a Jamaican jerk Cornish game hens. I've been marinating these things for about 24 hours already. We got sweet, sour, spicy, a little bit of everything. You can load them up into this cool basket for the Chicken Master Grill. And uh, we're gonna do them a little rotisserie. This thing is awesome. Rotisserie and grill, all in one. So after we got the birds in place, we're just gonna lock this right into place, one side at a time. Snap it in, flip this whole contraption over. We got a second spot to put two more birds. So we got two more Cornish game hens already marinated in our Jamaican jerk. There we go. Same thing, just one side at a time. Right in place. Now we're gonna bring it over to the grill. All right, so I took these chickens, I got them all marinated up, put them in this little rotisserie basket, clamped them in, put them in the grill, and now what do we do? You plug it in and it rotates. So we're talking electricity and charcoal. Electricity no and charcoal. Thing. Nope, that's it. Cool thing about this Chicken Master Grill, Charlie, it's all stainless, it's American made and built. This grill piece goes right here on the back side. We can grill some mahi, yeah. you brought some lobsters, some spiny lobster today, and, uh, and you can tell be... this thing is sturdy. I mean, it's heavy duty, but it is mobile. That's why we brought in help. Yeah. This is gonna take like 45 minutes to cook. I say we go clean the mahi and grab a cocktail. These look amazing. Look at that caramelization. I think they're about five to 10 minutes out. So now it's the perfect time to throw our lobster and our mahi back on the grill. Sounds great, man. Let's close the lid and close flip over to the grill side. There we go. We're gonna put this lobster tail that Jackie's already made it, marinated in butter, mayonnaise, lime, a little blackening seasoning on the grill first. You hear that sound? That's exactly what you want it to do. Nice hot grill. It's gonna take the lobster just a few more minutes than the thin mahi fillets. Jackie promises me that these lobster tails are some of the best I've ever eaten. All right, let's go with the mahi now. Very important to, to, to season the mahi ahead of time, but also to kind of make sure that you have a little bit of this Pam spray. Because before you lay it down on the grill, it's gonna stick. About two or three minutes on each side. These things are gonna be golden, man, I'm telling you. And now we've got Delicious. the Cornish hens resting. So we got the Cornish hens resting that are already rubbed down in Jamaican jerk. Mm. Spicy, sweet, mm. salty, savory, a little sour, a little everything. Grilled over charcoal and a little bit of, uh, what kind of chips did you get? Some hickory wood hickory chips, wood yeah. Chips. yeah. So a little some hickory in there. Meets barbecue, yeah. delicious. Yeah. I, can't, I can't wait to eat this, it's gonna be nice. Which one's mine, Charlie? I want the big one. You're gonna fight me for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to fight me for it. 